Okay, so today we're going to talk about slope, okay, slopes of lines. Um, just one lesson for today. Remember, slope is the same thing as saying um, the rate of change, okay? Um, it's looking at a graph and knowing uh, what, uh, what's going on to it. Is it rising? Is it falling? At what rate is it rising or falling? Um, slope, to find the slope, we have our slope formula. Remember, it's the same thing as the rise over the run. It is the change in the y values over the change in x values over the given two points, any two points on that line. Okay, so we're going to use our slope formula. And, um, our first few questions is going to ask us to find the slope of the falling lines. Okay, so if I look here at S, I've got negative uh, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So negative 2, 7. Okay, and then um, T is the point negative 1, negative 1. Remember, here's my X, my Y, my X2, Y2. So M is equal to uh, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So that gives me negative 1 minus 7 over negative 1 minus negative 2. Remember, these two become positive. So I wind up having negative H over uh, negative 1 plus 2 gives me uh, a positive um, 1. Okay, so negative 8 is our final slope. Okay, uh, it's negative, and keep in mind our negative slope from left to right, if you look at it, it is going down from left to right, and when it goes down, um, our slope is going to be negative. That means it has a negative value slope. All right, so this is going to be negative 8, okay? If you want to keep it over 1, you can, okay? The next one um, over here, um, G is at the point um, negative 2 down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And F is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. Okay, so if I label X, Y, X2, Y2, again, my slope is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So that gives me negative 5 minus my y minus 2 over negative 2 minus 6. So negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7 over negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. Now remember, two negatives will give me a positive 7 over 8, okay? Uh, and since from left to right, notice it's now going up. Uh, from left to right, so that's going to give me, I know it should be a positive slope, okay? So, positive 7 over 8 for that one. On this one, um, notice right here, our point P is located at uh, 0 of 1, 2, 3, 4. And on Q, it's 0, negative 1, 2, 3, okay? Uh, so, if I label x, y, x, 2, y, 2, my slope formula, remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So my y2 is negative 3 minus uh, 4 over 0 minus 0. That gives me negative 7 over 0. You cannot have 0 in, uh, in the denominator. If it's under the line, remember, this is going to give us undefined slope. Okay? Undefined slope. Uh, this horizontal line right here is undefined slope, and any horizontal line that you're going to have is going to be undefined slope. So anytime you get a zero down there in the denominator, remember you can't have a zero down there in the denominator. If it's under the line, it is undefined slope, okay? Our last example over here, this time is a horizontal line. This point right here is um, uh, negative two uh, down negative 1, and this one right here is going to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down negative 1. So again, I've got m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this gives me um, x, y, x2, y2, negative 1 minus a negative 1, uh, and then we have 6 minus negative 2. Remember, these two negatives become positive. This gives me negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and 6 plus 2 is 8. 
Now zero is on top. Zero divided by eight. Even if you plug that in your calculator, your slope is going to give you zero. Okay? If it's on top, this uh, horizontal line right here, any horizontal line, our slope is going to be zero. If it's a vertical line, remember your slope is going to be undefined. Okay? So those are your two special line slopes. Okay? Uh, and again, mathematically, when zero is on top, then that will tell you that the slope is zero. Okay? Um, again, just like I mentioned a while ago, uh, rate of change is uh, another way of, to describe slope. It's the change in the, the relationship from one quantity to the other. Okay? Uh, let's go ahead and skip down here. Um, it slopes of parallel lines, if they're parallel lines, um, then of course your slopes are going to be the same. Okay? Um, so if, um, if we look here at this example of these two lines, if they're both parallel, then uh, their slopes are going to both be the same, okay? If they're perpendicular, if this line right here is perpendicular to this one, they're going to have what we call opposite reciprocal slopes. So right here, this slope was 4 over 1, essentially, then our slope of the perpendicular line would be a negative 1 over 4, okay? So they change the, the sign, so it goes from positive 4 over 1 to a negative 1 over 4. So you um, change the sign and flip the fraction, okay? All right, opposite reciprocals for perpendicular. So if I go ahead and look down here, um, it says to determine whether um, line FG and HG are parallel perpendicular or neither. So again, to do that, you have to find the slopes because your slopes tell you uh, both of that. So for FG, our slope is going to be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we have negative 1 minus negative 3 over negative 2 minus 1. These two become positive. Negative 1 plus 3 is a positive 2 over negative 3 is our slope for FG. HJ x1 y1 x2 y2 so again i've got my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so that gives me 3 minus 0 over 6 minus 4 that gives me 3 over 6 minus 4 is 2 uh, and notice right here we've got a negative we got a positive and they are flipped so fg is perpendicular to hj all right, you see how they are both the same numbers, but they are just the flipped, and one's positive and one is negative. All right, last example over here. Graph the line that contains uh, Q, which is 3, 1, with M and N that is parallel to this. If it's parallel, remember the slopes have to be the same. Okay, so in order for us to have this new line that goes to this new point, I need to know what the slope of these two are. So X, Y, X, 2, y2. That means I'm going to have uh, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I have 1 minus 4 over 2 minus negative 2. These two become positive. I have negative 3 over 4 is our slope. Okay? It's going to go through the point 3, 1. So 1, 2, 3, up 1 is the point q. Okay? If you're going to graph a line with this, I need two other points on that line. Uh, so negative 3, 4, remember um, the numerator tells me up or down, and the denominator tells me right or left. Okay, so I can go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to give me one more point. Keep in mind that I also, because the whole slope is negative, I can also go up three, one, two, three, and this time go to the left four, one, two, three, four. So there is my uh, third point on that line. Okay, so there we go. I've graphed my line that goes through Q and is parallel to the point M and N. All right.